how to create a globe like this in Blender. I'm using Blender 2.79. Delete that cube. Shift A, new plane. Let's have a look at that. Let's look at that wireframe. Add a modifier. A uh, subdivide surface. Press simple. I'm going to go to about six. Press apply. Let's look at that top down, number seven. I'm going to make this tool by pressing S, Y, to enter. That's very good. Let's press seven again to look at it top down. Shift A, add an empty, a plane axis. Shift A again, add another empty, plane axis. I have two empties, which I will use. Let's go down to the plane here. Add a modifier, a simple deform. Let's uh, put empty here. Press bend in empty. I want X rotation to be 90. That's looking like it's doing the right thing. Let's go back to plane. Add another simple deform modifier. So bend. This one uses empty 001. Let's go up to empty 001. X equals 90 and Z equals 90 okay what we have here is something looking very promising okay so we can bend it that way and we can bend it that way so if I bend this one here it's about 180 and I bend this one right up to 360 it's uh, as you can see, creating a sphere. Excellent. That is a perfect sphere. Now, I'm going to texture that sphere using uh, the UV image editor. But first, let's just add the texture to the object. Let's create a new material create a new texture open something called world color JPEG I'll give you a link to this okay there it is now let's look at the uh, UV image editor and show it as our in our preview going back up to here we press tab to go into edit mode for the plane object we look down by pressing 7 we'll rotate the camera I'm going to press 6 to do that until I'm happy actually I got a feeling I'm supposed to rotate it the other way so I'm pressing 4 to do that I press U project view bounds there we go so that's now mapped that image to those coordinates if I press uh, tab again up here go to uh, the material view okay so I have a texture now we have a lighting issue so uh, we'll fix that by pressing the lamp over here and selecting Hemi excellent oh look my uh, map has reversed because I can tell because Australia is wrong 
Anyway, I'll just fix this light slightly. Ah, another thing, press N. Select GLSL. Nah, didn't make much difference. Let's get the light, turn up the energy a bit. Okay, it's a bit brighter. To get rid of this uh, checkered look, or this squarey look, let's just uh, right click the object and press move over there. To get rid of that big glare, I'm going to go into the planes uh, material here and uh, turn down the intensity of specular and increase the hardness. There we go. Now to fix up this texture, so to fix that I'm just going to press 7 to look at it from top down again. While I'm in edit mode, whoops, down here, I'm going to type R for e X then 180, enter, and that has flipped my plane around on the x-axis, 180 degrees, and that looks better on the earth. Right, yeah, let's go back into object mode, and look at that. Now to apply those modifiers, do the top one first, apply then apply and press full stop to look at the globe the globe is not really centered yet but anyway what we'll do is object transform origin to geometry shift s cursor to center shift s selection to cursor all right full stop to look at it now our globe, if I press 7, 1 and 3 to look at it from different angles, 1 for instance, looks like it's rotated 90 degrees on one of the axes, so I'm just going to guess that's the Y axis, so rotate Y 90, nope, 270, enter, and that's it, got it. Excellent. That's our globe. And you can do that too. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe and share.